It's a story about secret missions, spies, and spirituality wrapped in a new exhibit called A Pilgrimage, A Mission in Rome. It's a deep look at the history of the venerable English college showcased in its crypt that dates back to the 1330s. I wanted to bring the church down into the crypt to tell something of the story of the seminary and tell something of the story of the college. Like its transformation from a hospice to a seminary in 1579. The exhibit illustrates the secret journey Jesuit priests made from Rome to England during the Reformation in the 16th century. The Reformation started when King Henry VIII broke away from the Catholic Church and built the Church of England, destroying monasteries and friaries in the process and eventually making it illegal to be a Catholic priest. But seminaries like the Venerable English College were founded and continued training English priests. Missionaries would then travel back to England to defend their faith, putting their lives at risk. This collection of frescoes tells a story of how many were caught, tortured, and martyred. Father Andrew Hayden talks about how even this seminary wasn't free from those who wanted to persecute Catholic priests. They didn't have Facebook, they didn't know, the, the, the authorities in England didn't know what the seminaries looked like and so they actually sent spies into the, into the colleges and the communities as well so they would be recognised when they went back to England. The exhibit also shows a recreation of a prison cell where many were held captive. Visitors can also get an idea of what it was like for many priests who had to hide in priest holes. It's difficult to, uh, to put ourselves in, in their feet and to know what was uh, going through their minds. In fact, some of them were, must have been so fired up that uh, they were ready to give their life uh, today rather than, rather than tomorrow. The new exhibit coincides with the reopening of the church at the Venerable English College, which dates back to 1888. For the past two years, every piece of marble, mosaic, and painting has been restored. During the Reformation, students at the college would sing Te Doom under the masterpiece after they heard a brother was martyred. In all, 44 from this college were martyred over the span of 100 years. It's an exhibition like no other. Not only does it inform uh, in history, but it's also, I would say, challenging because it's a, a pilgrimage and a mission in itself. A mission that will be open to the public until July 2010.